Okay guys, Ranger4321 again. And today I'm doing a video on the Sage EBR barrel whip screw. And what I've got already is I've already tuned this to where this little right hand piece of target paper is just barely able to get between the screw itself and the barrel. There's a little bit of resistance so it doesn't come out freely. But what that does is it it gives the distance between enough distance between the barrel and the whip screw to where it's still free floating and this screw right there isn't touching the barrel and that aids in accuracy so as you can tell it's sort of it's catching on it a little bit I might have to turn it a little bit more see now it's stuck you don't want to go that far down there we go just like that and once it's like that, I'm going to take some of this Uncle Mike's gun tight, lock tight stuff, and I'm going to put it on that or this screw first, and then on this screw. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay. And then I'm going to tighten this screw down. And what that does, it keeps this barrel whip screw from moving. So now I've got the correct amount of torsion on that screw. And you can see on the paper there, marks from the screw itself. So that should keep that from moving. And there you go. Now, like I said, that aids in accuracy because it allows the barrel itself to be free floating, and the whip screw reduce or it limits the amount of whip the barrel can move. And uh, on a medium weight barrel, it doesn't move that much because it's a heavier barrel. But on your GI barrels, it probably whip more because it's a little bit lighter barrel. But that is how you install that screw. And if you can get the right amount of light, you might be able to see that screw. Let's see. You see it right there. It's not really touching the, the barrel at all. It's just there. And that's what, that's how I was able to get the, uh, the groups I did uh, on the last video. So there it is. Now uh, some other videos I'm, I'm looking to do are the installation of the uh, Smith Enterprises um, front tight block and uh, with the threaded one so I can put on their vortex flash illuminator and some more range videos once I can get back out to the range and get some better ammo. There it is. Thanks, guys.